I actually feel bad for people commenting things like this because they're so out of touch with what is possible. We are literally seeing that right now as a collective with this block party. <laughs> Blocking celebrities is just a catalyst for us to realize our power as people and to take it back from these corporations, these influencers, these celebrities that we have given it to. If it's not with our actual dollars, it's with our time and attention. We pay attention and we spend time on this bullshit. And now we're realizing we can take it away. We can block it out of our existence <laughs> and we can focus that on other things. And I just saw a creator's video. I reposted it. So if you're following me, you'll probably see it. To sum it up, she has this theory about the Met Gala, the story behind the Met Gala and what we can actually do about it as people who are witnessing this just fuckery and wanting to do something about it, right? The answer is to build something new. <laughs> I don't think we yet realize the power of what is actually possible when we change what we're giving our time, attention, and money to, and when we stop giving it to these big corporations and these big celebrities and start giving it to the people. Shopping at farmer's markets, shopping local, not getting things from Amazon, but going to your local hardware store or whatever the case may be, your local bookstore. When the masses, the majority of us do that, we leech money out of these corporations. And yes, of course it's gonna have an effect because these are businesses and that's how business works in the capitalistic structure and system that we currently run under. <laughs> We've seen this happen with McDonald's, sales have gone down, Starbucks, sales have gone down. Starbucks CEO literally in an interview was complaining about how people aren't buying their coffee anymore. We're seeing it happen before our eyes. And yes, it might take a little bit of time. It's not gonna happen overnight. But as we take that action and we continue to wake up, we change where we're spending our time, attention and money our actual world will change. And to circle back to this whole building something new, the job market is changing. I have made videos about this in my Pluto and Aquarius playlist. Well, I'll probably put this video. The job market is changing because it needs to, because we as a people need to put our efforts, our energy, our time and attention into our passions and figuring out a way to make money from that. Whether it's making local goods for your community or candle making, gardening, doing astrology, tarot, human design readings, like offering services and value based on what you're truly passionate about and pursuing that as a job and a career. And let me tell y'all, since I have made astrology, my human design, my career, I don't feel like I ever work because I just love it so much. I love creating content for y'all. I love connecting with y'all in real time in my membership community every week. I love creating courses for y'all. Like I love it and it never feels like work. And I'm actually doing what I love, what I'm passionate about and sharing and providing value with that. This is what we all have the opportunity to step into as a collective and really what this Pluto and Aquarius age is about. It's only going to be amplified by the upcoming transits. We have Jupiter moving into Gemini. Information is going to thrive. Social things are going to thrive. And when Uranus moves into Gemini in a few years, it's just going to exponentially grow. When Chiron moves into Taurus in a few years, our relationship with money, our planet, and the economy is going to completely shift and change. And if you're ahead of this curve, by creating job security for yourself, doing what you actually want to be doing, just your passion or something you're naturally good at that people want to come to you for, you're going to have a much easier time through the chaos that it's not, it, that's not going to get better anytime soon. <laughs> but again, the energy and the focus of all of us should be to build this new thing. And that's what the new earth is really, truly all about is all of us putting our energy, our time and attention and money into building something that actually benefits us and benefits humanity as a whole. Building up your local community, getting to know your neighbors, starting a garden. These are just some of the ways that we are going to see the shift take place. And the sooner you can embrace this change, the easier things will go for you, like I said. How is this showing up for you? Let's chat about it.